So this is the Ride Wild Challenge. We're here with our Estali 20s and with Ben from Puddingstone Distillery. And we are doing our 30 places in 30 hours bike ride with the uh, Hearts Wildlife Trust. Come on then, Ben, what are we in store for? I know we're going to be cycling a fair distance. We're actually showing people that it's easy to get around the county and go to spaces where there is, you know, great diversity. We're motivated. We're going to see some wonderful nature, um, great sights across Hertfordshire, and the sun is now coming out, so it's going to be a beautiful couple of days riding. We should probably get going. Let's go. So we made it to Casterbury Park on time. Ahead of time. We saw a hobby, oh, yeah. Nice. And basically just discovering what a wide variety of um, yeah. plant life and animal life there is not far from a lot of people's doorsteps. Here we are um, with a gentleman who is bringing to life on canvas um, this wonderful vista in front of us. Trying to. The highlight here is, is a, an egret, beautiful white egret which has been fishing like a fisherman there, yeah. really filling its tummy. You don't see them very often. Just goes to show that the, you know, the stream is capable of supporting that kind of wildlife. I grew up in Croxley and Watford. From the age of 10, I probably spent way too much time cycling around and jumping in this very river. Um, swam here, yeah, rafted down here. I mean, this, this was my playground for many, many years. So it's, um, it's lovely to come back and, and see people enjoying it. So Ali, we have made it to Hillfield Reservoir. The bikes can only take us so far and unfortunately, bit of a run. We need to go up there. Fancy a race? Let's do it. Hillfield Reservoir. This is the largest undisturbed water body in the county, purely for wildlife. Hilltop Reservoir, what do you make of this? I mean, it's an incredible sight. Everything that surrounds it, all these beautiful trees, these wild grasses, wild flowers, some butterflies, it does show that sometimes, you know, where, where man has intervened, you know, in this case to create a reservoir, we do need to provide a bit of assistance um, yeah. just to help the natural environment to thrive. And, um, you know, it's thriving. Look at all the with all the birds on the water there, it's, it's amazing. See, Ben is just doing another interview. I think we're on stop number 10 or 11 possibly now. We're at um, St. Albans Cathedral and we're just looking at some uh, peregrine falcons um, that apparently nested in the tower of the cathedral. We are here at Grebe House, which is the home of the Hertfordshire and Middlesex Wildlife Trust. And we are in what is possibly one of the loveliest gardens I have seen. Have you seen the peregrine? We saw the peregrine. Yes, that's so good. Superb. Yes. And, and also just, just en route here, we, we cut through a field and we saw a lovely big old fox as well. Oh, but this is my favourite. This is hedge uh, bed straw, which I just think is gorgeous this week. So the beauty is that obviously you've got this lovely space and people who are walking past through the park can see over the fence and into it. We find that when we're volunteering here, they're engaged with us over the fence as well as they go, which is really nice, because then you can start talking to them about the work that we're doing, the little changes they can make in their own gardens. It's amazing. So it's just the barefoot thing, so I'm not missing out. Mm. What, what was that? Um, just, a re just a way of grounding yourself to nature. Yourself. I yeah, see. It's nice. So are you going to have a go? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, it is very grounding. It is. You know the temperature of the ground now. Yeah. And you can feel the, um, you can feel that not all the grass is soft. No, that bit there wasn't. <laughs> I feel refreshed, I feel grounded, I feel ready for the next stop. This is apple juice from the Chewing Orchards, which we've just arrived at. And my God, I think we need this. It smells good. It smells fantastic. fantastic. That's really good. Pressed from apples picked at Chewing Orchard Nature Reserve, exactly where we are now, which is brilliant, because we can look at the very trees that this has come from. We're at Dobbs Weir. Learn anything interesting? I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I was just speaking to Kath, who's, um, you know, oversees the site. And if you look around, I mean, we've got, um, we've got these lovely yellow lilies. Um, there are swans, there are ducks, there are gulls. So there's a nesting bird behind us here. 
that got a bit agitated when the swans came over a while ago, but this is an environment where, you know, we've got voles, um, there is evidence of otters as well. So it's a really, really diverse environment. And actually the river is great for recreational activities. So you know, you've got kayakers and paddle boarders, people running and cycling up and down the towpath. So it's, um, you know, it's a real, real hive of activity. Beautiful place to be. It's really nice to just kind of meet and chat with you guys because one of our vision at Astali is to get people on their bikes and out amongst nature and potentially out of cars. What would you say to someone who is perhaps, you know, thinking about the outdoors a bit more, lives in the area, or is coming to visit the area and doesn't really know about these spots? There's so many different places that you can explore on foot or by bike. You can cover a lot more ground on bikes, so definitely a worthwhile investment, I think. It's just something about immersing yourself in the landscape. You can't learn any better than being out in the field, seeing all the wonderful wildlife. Um, you know, we've just spotted some herons nesting over there and bringing food to the, the mother on the nest. So just experiencing that in person is something which I think everybody should, should have an opportunity to do. And we are really lucky in Hertfordshire, although it's quite an urban county, we have so many of these wild spaces, both on and off of our nature reserves for people to go and enjoy. <laughs> it's been a good, uh, it's been a good trip, um, and I think we've been very privileged in what we've, what we've seen over the last two days. Thirty hours, thirty sites, all of them offering up very, very different environments. Um, everyone has been completely unique, and everyone has got something that's caught my attention yeah. and, and, and made me look deeper and deeper into what we have around us. It's, it's been amazing. And all local. Yeah. Just jump on the bike, travel around. Um, you're going to see it all, and it will it will really open your eyes to what we've got in this country. It's been an absolute pleasure. Well done, mate. Loved every minute of it. See you next year. Yeah. <laughs> Only kidding. <laughs>